Hello everyone, anyone, and welcome back this hey, to... Uh, oh, let's listen to him and say. Uh, you know, your friend. What is it about Isselmir? I'm right here, you know. Indeed. You're both great, it's just I feel like I have to spend so much time with her and it's just so funny, some things she says. I don't want you to stop talking. They're not nearly as funny when you've been hearing them for 50 years. Ah, okay. Sorry. Welcome to Divinity. It's not Divinity. Welcome to Pillars of Eth and Eternity. Uh, the White March Part 1 and 2. I am Zial. I, I, I just couldn't let character interaction go, so I decided, you know what? I'm going to wait a minute. And uh, having wait a moment, uh, I realized that the, that the opening was kind of crap and such. But I did it anyway. Um, and uh, I'm gonna keep it. I'm going with it. I'm letting it. I'm letting it. Letting it roll. So last time we found ourselves in a position to where we were uh, basically getting along with the main story, and I'm kind of just exploring. Hi, right, sailor. You look like you're having a rough day of things. Hello, mister. Hooded figure leans against the wall and as you draw, he stands up right and raises his halt approach. You know the words, speak them, we do business. If not, then we say nothing. Do I know the words? Uh, farewell. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I, I didn't know the words. I'm not entirely sure that first one was. Like, what is that? Hey, courtesans. Oh. Okay. Well, that got weird. Alright. That got weird. Alrighty, so let's look around. We're just kind of looking around the whole uh, nice place. Nice. We'll do a little fast mode walk in just in case, uh, stealth walking that is, just in case I come across something. But pretty much we're hanging out, and this is Ordrin's Gift, which is pretty much the ducks. And uh, there's, there's a few things that can be done around here. Uh, and I'm kind of just looking around and seeing. See oh, you do. Well, isn't that the weirdest case of seeing something? You know, like, like what? Like, that's cool and all, but how random is that? I remember there being something random like that, too. Alright, kind of keep going on through. I see something. And, alright, those are Kickstarter folks. Hi, guys, what's going on? You can't go down there. So, pretty much, yeah. Whoop walk on through all this but thank you again for joining me for the pillars of eternity uh i guarantee that there will be a little bit of combat this episode uh if there's one thing i learned from um you mentioning divinity original sin is that let's it's best not to go too many episodes about having some good old combat uh-oh grab his purse and go what, what happened to this poor fella gotta have some combat can't just be all duckity duckity tuck Noble. Man's fancy clothes are ripped. Blood flows from fresh cut above his eye. He tries to push those up, his arm shaking. He winces painfully. Help him up. Uh, thank you. My head. Uh, what happened? Dabs the bloody nose of silk handkerchief. I was just on the way to the club. It stretches out, looking at scraped knee. It's a rough part of town, but the rabble's never been violent. Even the night with quality isn't worth it. He limps away. Quality? Well... That's interesting. Thieves. Well, I'm gonna have to go and say hello to so and so and see what's the deal here. The salty mast. And you know what? After playing the game previously, I don't. Th I just got that now. By the way, ew. Because this place happens Nothing to. Nothing like this in Gilded Vale. <laughs> just Wallaroon of the milkmaid. She knew what she was doing. Over fried cod, water dale, and prostitution. A bastion of dear wooden culture. I hope you aren't <laughs> expecting to find the leaden key in here. This place, it stills your mind and distracts you. Now to find a home for my other staff. <laughs> ah, now that's, that's what I'm talking about, okay? Anyway, in <laughs> terms of Durance. All right. So yeah. Anyway, this is a salty mass. Hey, what's up here? Welcome. Watch you suspiciously. One hand tense at her side, but you approach. She relaxes, gives you a friendly, wearing smile. So many outfitted peep, uh, outfitted like you are looking for trouble. You're looking for trouble, are you? Um. Let's see. What kind of trouble are you having? 
Brown rubber cloths or blue facial markings. Kind of bad for business. Local rowdies have taken harass some of my hardworking boys and girls and our customers. Started showing up with a rash of hollow and they've been driving my regulars away. <sighs> there aren't too many who care about what happens to places like this, uh, but word is your exception. Nice too busy sniffing around Duke of Vier to bother with commoners, just to soon deal with the bureaucracy anyway. Well, uh, tell me how I can help. Uh, these thugs tend to roam in groups, suggests that they aren't random incidents. You put a stop to these attacks, fun, nice way to thank you. Got me? With the wink. I'd rather just go chat up to that guard with the white hips, personally, but we could stop her people getting thrashed, at least. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, questions. Shoot. Alright, what do you know about these attacks? Only if they have uh, step outside to see it for itself. The thugs are just waiting to cause trouble for anyone coming or going. Maybe they have let you pass, however. Tell more about your business. I'm not doing as well as I like with all this trouble. I run an honest enterprise, try to give folks a little rest and relaxation. Lot lowers her voice. You uh, help me out, I'll see about getting you a special discount. Uh, I see something else. All right. Uh, any regulars interested in earning some coin? That's something that's basically just make a new companion. Uh, I thought it was clear as crystal waters below the docks. This is Salty Mass, most of these house of pleasure to find spit. We got drinks, beds, good company, and help you enjoy both. So many minds here, filled with lust, gaiety, but also worry, heartache, terror. She looks around, laughing, drinking crowds. These rooms have been filled by despair at the Hollowborn as much as anything else. Her gaze returns to Mia, a shame that one would so readily profit from it. Of course, the club for refined and prestigious gentlemen is upstairs. You find several of the hardest working boys and girls to find space up there, too. All right, let's refreshments. Got anything good? It's all booze and everything. I'm caught up on that. But look at that. Another thing. Finally confronting the thugs that are messing with the brothel. Always an enterprising way to go. And, yeah, for those of you who are interested, you could definitely be like, Hey, what's Hail, up? Uh, and the little girl show you the highlights. Like, for you, I'm one of them. Um, yeah, maybe another time. Basically, yeah, if you want to catch, uh, catch something, you go nuts. Or, uh, you, you know, honestly, I'm not going to shame anyone. Do you want to, you want to visit, uh, and I'm pretty sure it turn, it's one of those screens turned black, but that's part of your role play. You can go for it. You go to the Good brothel. Alright. Come for a story? Yeah, the lot told all the best stories. My club, anyway. What club? Club for a fine Jesus gentleman. Wait, you don't know about the club. You must be. <coughs> okay, where was that? Must be here about the ring. Shoves in your hand. Here, you have to have to have to get in the lounge. They don't have any, you know. Most exclusive club of the fine Bay. Where are you? Don't tell them you're new or. All right. Well. <laughs> The Club of Procedures Gentlemen Rings had been added to your inventory. Alright, it's a motto inscribed in El Adirin. Diod and Nifrath. Alright, cool. Alright. Here I am, going upstairs in the Salty Mast. Yep. Can't believe I just got that. Hey, you into dwarfs? There you go. And, uh. Gods keep you. The pale eyes, gold, the winter sunset, she touched her cheek, cool hand. You look like you could journey far. Let me show you comfort and rest. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me about yourself. Came to find space from frozen lands the southern end of the world. Few of my people venture this far north, but none of them know uh, how to warm a cold night like we do. Her skin seems to glow with the dark and Yeah, all right. Let's just relax. That was the one that uh, so-and-so was trying to see, uh, though. And uh, nice ring. You may enter. Okie dokie. Alright, hi. What's up? Alright. Man looks to it down. So you remember I see you here for the exclusive uh, uh, club equipment? Yeah, show me your stock. You can collect the finest club of over a decade. Guarantees superior collection. Well, how about that? And, uh, funny enough, he's not full of it, because, like, yeah, there's actually lots of good weapons here, like, a lot. Hey, and helmets to do stuff. You remember how, uh, I was bummed of not having any, uh, helmets that do anything, because they're pretty much just, like, why am I bothering? 
Wow, the cod piece of vigor. Which is worth picking up uh, on whatever alone. Um, but yeah, so pretty much we got spears. More spears. We got swords. We got oxes. Uh, faithful dagger. Uh, we got nice sword. Props. See, property is exceptional. Um, that's it, really. I don't actually see anything that's super special about it. Um, maybe just the fact that it is improved. Um, they all just seem to be having, uh, uh, they're all just exceptional, meaning they're, uh, the accuracy and damage has been pumped up, which is nice. But, uh, this one's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. At, you know, the more that you look at this, you kind of just realize, like, yeah, these are all just, um, uh, for the most part, just, uh, improved by something slightly different. They just sound really cool, actually, <laughs> for the most part. But yeah, uh, they can recommend this place if you want to pick up a little something extra. I do have to admit that the cod piece of vigor has got my attention. Not a bad idea for a tank. Also, uh, any helmet is better than no helmet, as we all know. Um, and such as for if you look silly in it. Um, I think right now I'm still wearing that uh, other mask, but why don't we just say, you know what, without having to go through the rigmarole and selling them everything in the world, why don't we just be like, here you go. All right. All right. And... I didn't tell him I was new, so that worked. I didn't even have to, because my honest self would have been like, yeah, I'm new. All right, and looks like, my friend, you got yourself a belt. Boom, constitution goes up. He's a hardier fellow now. And uh, lots of places to uh, for less scrupulous folks to steal. Oh, I see. Wow. You're locked behind... Uh, Got a couple guards on the way. You gotta be like, this. she's gotta be a little special. Talk to me. Alright. Well, there we go. But, interesting. Oh, uh, yep, that's the dude. Yep, if you're interested in dudes, go nuts. Like I say, you gotta do everything, you know, do whatever you want. It's role playing. This is what it's all about. Just, uh, you know, maybe not post it to your Facebook wall. Like, just uh, had, just had a three-way with a dwar uh, dwarf and an orlin uh, at the salty mass, you know. And I mean, if you want to, hey, you know, you go nuts. You let that, you just let that uh, freak flag fly, like I say. Um, and uh, yeah, see, all those instincts of mine cry out as they usually do. Hey, some money is tucked away here, um, because. You know, we could definitely be breaking into some chests here. Let's Ain't nobody gonna be wiser. Let's just, you know, for the sake of it, say hello. And be like, hey, some free potions. Can't say no to free potions. Alright, anyway, moving on. Point is, is that, uh, that's one of the things I'm doing a little bit less this time when Pillar's Turning compared to other games is stealing anything that isn't nailed down. <laughs> Um, because money comes pretty freely for the most part, uh, just selling off equipment and this and that. Um, I haven't spent very much either. Like, like the whole party is not outfitted. In fact, that's part of the reasons why, um, some of my times in the depths, uh, level two weren't so hot, but, uh, things get a little easier as time goes on, but we got ourselves a little bit of supply and demand here. Fine to confront the thugs. Someone is organizing the thugs. Well, I mean, why not? Might be worth our while to, uh. Give this here a little look see. It's a nice little statue. Her oh, there we go. Aristocrat. Let's got ourselves a highborn. 412. Let's give her a proper welcome. Uh, yeah, let's talk this through. Sharp and blade. I'm afraid you're missing the point, friend. Dun, 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 dun. You know, so. Um, music didn't come on, so I just sounded stupid. But let's, uh, let's say hello to these wonderful folks. Yes. Boom, okay, we got them all grabbed up, and we're definitely already have one be being betrayed, that's good. All right, we got 
couple of them um, taken care of here. You are engaged with this one for one. Let's say it's knocked down because you got a two-hander. Oh, you're already down. Yeah, these thugs are nothing to worry about. I'm gonna go back to this log until we need it. Because right now, as you can see, we're doing pretty fine without too much in the way of anything. Alright, what you got? Okay, I think good. By the way, I don't know if you guys could hear that. That's a plane flying really, really, really close. There we go. Did I just... Okay, that's something that I have to say is a command decision that uh, I certainly had made. It's like, she just used lay out hands on a freaking... <laughs> um... <laughs> What do you call it? You use lay on hands uh, as a, uh, um, what's it called? On a freaking skeleton. So that's, I've not encountered that one before. That is a special kind of, what are you doing? Oh yeah, thugs, thugs, thugs. Do not heal skeletons or oppressing thugs. What are you going to do when they come for you? We're going to go back up, mofo. It's gonna take a while for him to cast it, but I guess he's stunned too. Okay, so didn't take long. All right. Gonna set it better myself. Asa mesa betu. So one laying in hands of skeletons. Let's think about that a little harder next time. Ooh, but a key, the rusty bronze key. Salty air. Alright, alright. And yeah, to the nothing there is obviously jumping out at me. Supply and demand is that uh it looks like it belongs to a house here, so we don't know that all goes. Um but it looks like uh, our buddy Deer wants to say something. What's up, man? How you doing? Strange place for a shrine to Abidon, Crucible Keep. Maybe it made more sense at some point before it gathered all that dust. The only thing that knights the crucible worship these days is the nobility, as far as I understand it. I knew some soldiers got recruited by the knights after the war was over. They told me something about it. Got these young kids in there and tell them about blacksmith and the revolution, about tradition. Talk about the golem like he created the crucible knights in his forge to go win dear wisdom independence. Uh, then they join. Turns out all the knights ever talk about is when they get are recognized as a real knighthood. When they get their titles and their land. Their high justice wants to be Earl. Says it's Abaddon's will. He's got a castle and army. Wonder how long it'll take before he starts the war over St. Abaddon told him to. Hmm. Uh, okay. And nobles respond to their gods and told them that they're uh, eh, some members do. You see, with the older knights, some of them, they were taught differently. I feel it for them. See, all them slowly wearing away around them. Uh, nothing but be done because the wrong people are in charge. Shame they don't have better people leading them. Hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. we you know, kind of find a little bit more about his feelings there. And I love the writing in this game. Like, I won't shut up about... Uh... Is it Oda's house? Is is Oda's house where we're we're gonna go gonna go to find out and take care of the salty mass problems? You, yeah. Say the more I say it, the worse it gets. Oh, Oda is just kind of here. What's up? The woman looks like she hasn't slept in days. Her hair is a rat's nest of tangle. Her eyes are lined with shadows. Casts an anxious glance at the door. door. Her eyes widen somewhere between hope and apprehension. Are you are you here about Deren? Um, if I'm not too, I'll help. Uh, my, it's my son. His father, Wynn, took him fishing two days ago. Haven't seen them since. Neighbors are no help, and the city watch hardly bothers with the gift these days. I'd, I'd be out in the docks looking myself, but I can't leave uh, the baby. Warned to the crib, lowers his voice. I don't dare take a hollow worn out with the violence near the brothel. I feel her misery, her pain. Her mind brims with it. You have a hollow worn baby. Answers Edge playing his face. Why was legacy as potent to find space anywhere? People were scared. Look for someone to blame, whether it's those women at the brothel or the families, these poor babes. So much misplaced blame, so much hurt heaped on hurt. 
She sighs and watches the motionless cradle. I don't approve of what goes on in Maya's place, but the attacks won't earn us the God's mercy. It only means harder to earn her living. It's about their disappearance. Oh, what do you want to know? Tell me about him. Darren. Uh, he's a brave lad. A little too bold for his own good. He's always been a dutiful son and gentle brother. He's got dark hair, quick eyes, and a raised smile. When you find him, recognize him in a heartbeat. I'm sure of it. Time to win. Uh, sometimes I don't know whether to rejoice or rue uh, when he comes home as often as he does. He's spent most of his time and all of his money drinking the brothel ever since. Has ever since. And looks at the cradle. Let me see him last. Be on the docks with myself, but uh, da, 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 da. I'll be back to find anything. I, I don't know how to thank you. I don't have much to spare these days, but Andre bless you for anything you can do. Okay, well, you know what happens when you get here? Quiet, motionless shape is swallowed between filthy rags, moth eaten towels. Well, that's a bummer. Um, yeah, the Holoborn situation uh, is definitely something that, uh, personally speaking, considering I haven't finished the game, uh, I'm darn curious about what exactly causes all this myself. Next time we get the chance, I'm buying you a pint. That means a lot to dare. Oh, do you want one too? Sorry, I meant for Isselmere. <laughs> I'll get you one too. Yeah, I do love that. I guess. I don't know. Over thing to say. Alright, Captain Quick Save. And I clicked I clicked the button. It felt like it was freezing for a moment. I'm like, no. Hi. Easy now. What's going on here? Something for later. This is actually kind of funny because I think I might have uh, happened upon something interesting here. Because uh, this looks for, or it's the same absolute same room as before. No, okay. It must just be the same room as another place. Moving around, seeing anything's here. Water in the pail is murky with blood. Great. Uh, yeah, chisel hammer, nice. The rope coil around sheriff is painfully scratchy. Good. Okay, so we ran we ran into a place where they uh, torture people. Okie dokie. You must gather your part. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you gotta gather the party if you're gonna venture for it. If you don't just go venture and find a party, it'd be silly. The whole game's about having a party. It's about having a whole bunch bunch of your boys and girls hanging out with you. Um, but there's a lot of abandoned houses here. Uh, there's more. That one's got a name. That one doesn't have a name. Uh, Ramshackle House is a little different than that one. The Trading Company and such. Why don't we go over here first? There's kind of a... Oh, shoot. Wow. Yeah, so you don't have to be sneaking to, to discover it. Nice. Wow. We found somebody stashed there. Of drugs. Oh, no. Sorry. Fast mode. You know, I just start going all the way around. That's, those are words, I promise. Okay. Hi. A lot of things. A lot of little quests to take care of. A lot of little things. Obviously, I, you know, wanted to get myself to this. Oh, Hi. What's up? Uh, younger selfish man. Get bars to the house home with this? Who do you think you are? Who are you? The elf who lives here. Now get out. <laughs> what now? Looks nervously. <laughs> okay, obviously we have no reason to go in there. I thought it might have been the abandoned house. and look at the name of it. But that's a little bit of a commentary, I feel, on the status of RPG heroes. Of like, what the? Just don't enter someone's house? What are you doing? What's up with that? You know? Come on. Think about it for a second here. Oh, hey, addicts. What's up? It's our place. Really use... This may prove useful. Oh, nice. Boom. You guys even know about all this cool stuff? Look at all this cool stuff, man, dude. That's not even stealing. People don't even care. That's why exploration is good. That plus just all the little experience adds up, you know. Um, that's why it is good times. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All those moonstones probably need to spend some time going, I'm going to upgrade the equipment or buy certain things. Um, you know, because when you are playing hard, you need to make sure that you get people equipped properly, and I certainly have not done that. Uh, 
least not uh, fully, to say the least, there's Heritage Hill. Uh, ramshackle house, so let's kind of just uh, walk about some more. Man, hooker hookers everywhere. Courtesans. Kind of a fine line between the two, that. Hey, it's Thugs! Hello, Thugs! How's it going? Uh, Alright, yeah. Get another house. Alright, definition of explanation made in terms. Use a resolution of game mechanics. And we have ourselves Brian Walker, who's living for frill. Do you mind if I steal your crap? Or yeah, apparently you do. Huh. All right. And I'm I'm, I'm assuming you guys are just those Kickstarter backers. So there you go. Pause it for people to read. And this is a little touch. All right. Do do do. Watching through this. Wow, the other guy wrote a little bit in this. This one's like lots of stuff here. See, there's some, and here's the thing. There's lots of people who are like Kickstarter backer. If I'm gonna write a character, I'm gonna write a character, and they do a good job. Um, I've read a lot of these, but it's one of those things that uh, it's like you know you want to take your time with it, want to enjoy it uh, and such. And me reading that aloud to you guys is. You know, sometimes it's gonna be like, hey, that was pretty cool, but it's, it's like, okay, like right now, pop quiz. Can you name any of the gods uh, so far? You know, like how many gods there are right now? Because I can think of like, I think there's like six gods I can think of. Hey, it's unlocked with the key, so we know we're in the right place. Ho! What you need? What you need? Finally, confront the thugs. All right. Hi. What's up? Well, you're outnumbered. First off. Hail, traveler. To find expression, sturdy yet battered suit of armor, uh, seems to bear each scratch and dying thing of pride. You look one that knights. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah. I'm here about. The, uh, who are you? I'm the fear lieutenant with the dozens. Taps for to breastplate. That's fighting force. Find space. They remember what it means to be your woodian. Fortunately, I'm the only one who seems to care about the way Maya's squeezing locals. Yeah, I'm here about the trouble salty mass. Ordinary kinth are angry, and they should, with that crooked amount of toadying up the nobles. She uses the tragedy of Waba's legacy to line her pocket. She's no better than the deer and home overlords that drove over 200 years ago. People around here? No, you be honest broker. Maya's made so only the rich can afford her establishment, and she sits in the poorest district in the fine spay. How's that fair? We take matters in our own hands, but she's still criminal here. Why don't you uh, tell her to back down? Um. Well, that's the thing. She might be making fortune before her employees aren't. You're hurting them more. I hadn't thought of it that way. Dull pauldron sag. And I guess there's no point to this, is there? She looks around, standing around, finally nods. Tell me I'll leave her people alone. Wow, that was, like, incredibly easy. How do you do? Uh, all right, well, hi. One five taking it. Yeah, you don't mind. All right, cool. Vegetables for cooking. One of those things that I've never been very good about in <laughs> in any RPG. Even though it's one of those things, like seriously, you know, uh, you could get a lot of great buffs, especially going in before a hard battle. Um, I think this will just you want to spend a little time familiarizing yourself with some of the things you can make because. You know, I press here and go boom, boom and I go crafting and oh god uh, that wasn't what I wanted to but just look at this look, look at this fine mess I have to take care of later or sell away ah, I keep pressing the same button <laughs> mistake crafting here we go food yes oh so Duke's own beef loaf you say and increases your endurance and might for so many seconds huh all right all right and I'm pretty sure you need to eat these. You can't eat them in, in the middle of stuff. There's also just stew. Stew is easy, right? Ooh, increases max endurance dexterity. Simple affected. All right, cool. Yeah, right, vegetables, rice. Sounds good. Um, beef loaf. And what well, we got? Some pearl wood chicken. Well, we got found a chicken. Um, good for this. And see, that's what I mean. You can, you know, make this up. Or you can sell it all off. See, I don't want this crap. 
And actually, we look at it, we, we can actually make a lot of potions here. We seriously can make that? Darn. Dang. I mean, um, you know, we can pump up. Uh, that's a pretty huge, uh, I mean, uh, there's a, you know, definitely a major regeneration potion. So there's no real, there's no real excuse for not having the ability to, and even with scroll, same about this. You have a character, if you have enough lore, well, look at this. Man, we can cast a lot of stuff. Revival, for example, right? Uh, you need six lore, right? But you revive with 93 endurance for 1.4 seconds. So basically, I'm assuming this is the one. Comrade to life, rent the passing for resourcing capacity to vigor to set them on their feet. Like, that's actually, like, really effing helpful. And, yeah, we can't cast too many times because we don't have too many Drake Talons and such. But why the heck not do that when I have the ability to do that? Um, so, yeah, you can see what I mean. You know, the crafting system is something... It's, it's actually also, like... Uh, and here's all the recipes. I think there might be more recipes you can get. Um, I kind of forgot, but... Uh, that's something very important to know. And then all of a sudden, look what you got here. You got to do some scrolls of revival. And, uh, what do you need? Lore 6? What's... Requires 6 lore? That's... Because it's a... So... Just looking at this for a second. Um, ba ba ba. Would I be able to cast this spell? And the answer is. Must be in combat to use that, but it looks like, yeah. Uh, because her lore is at 7. So it's just. And that's just a level 3 scroll. So there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Also, just kind of checking it out. Honest keeps going up. All right, we're doing good. Doing good. Keep going with the order. All right. Ah, and yeah, isn't God this interesting? Damn that son of a girl. Angry woman clenches her jaw and stares at the wind of the harbor with glimmering golden eyes. Ventures sits her presence, turns her feather head towards you. Want to run a down on its luck, valiant trading company? If you have more than half a brain, you could really do something with it. Clenches her jaw and tees quietly. As long as you're willing to clean up a few bloodstains. Uh, maybe diplomatic is the way to go. Ah, the luxury of choosing what tangled idiocies you can be involved with. It must be nice. Hmm. Looks back at the warehouse room and grimaces, so not a direct she storms off. I don't, no, I don't think I, uh, that is a, another party member. Uh, she happens to be a paladin. I'll tell you that much right now. You know, spoiler alert. Uh, I don't think she's been blown off forever by me saying that or whatever. Uh, but the point is, is that uh, she is a paladin. And I am a paladin, and I'm not saying I'm not going to recruit her if I can at the possibility, but I'm not really wanting to do that particular thing right now. And hey, you got some stuff here, don't you? Spreading plagues. Spreading plagues. Pretty, pretty, uh... Pretty nasty, I remember. Um, and let's see, and like belts, right? Like how many belts do we have? Prone reduction of dexterity plus two. I mean, there's some good stuff here. Tireless increased constant recovery. Ooh, wow, that might be good for a deer right there. What even the heck are you? Soul whip bonus, you say? Uh, yeah, hi, hello. It's a heck of a nice sign there. Wild Strike bonus. All right. And yeah, you got some dragon meat and weird crap. All right. A what brain? I don't even know what the heck that is. Um, lots of, you got some things. Hey, you want a calico cat? Boom. Yours. Beagle dog? We got him. Uh, I'm not playing Pokemon right now, but good to know that I can do that if I want to switch up the pets. Um, and such. I'm actually just gonna say, you know what? I kind of like this. I mean, it's 10% focus gain. Why not? Pick her up. Not a terrible thing. Resolve too. <coughs> Prone reduction is interesting as well. You know, I'm I actually gonna pick it up. Why not? I have the money for it, and I'm gonna do it. Second chance. Uh, second chance is unconscious, one per rest. 
uh, yeah, that's a pretty big, that's a pretty nice ring. Might resolve everything you need. Do, 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 do. You know, it's not bad. Anyway, why not pick up a few of these things? And if you'll bear with me, we're going to be going, the, 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 you know, doing the whole everything in the world to give away to this person. I'm pretty sure we learn everything we need to learn from there. I'm not feeling like anyone's like, oh my god, we need to use clubs. Clubs, for God's sakes. But, uh, and such. See, it's definitely the, the old school RPG because I'm picking up every single spear and every single shield that a Zerup or anyone ever had <laughs> that's been put in front of me. And as you can see, after all, you're like, oh, rough and right. You know, like, uh, it's kind of the way it is. And it's just, you know, it's, it's cool like that. But, you know, I've got a little bit of this to do. I'll keep one of them. The rest of them, see you later. See you later. I think I've been repeating myself like uh, uh, certain things, but boom, hey, one pr pretty much free. Not, well, not really, but uh, and that was kind of a nice little thing because I think that this prone reduction, right? Not a terrible idea from my buddy here, right? So he gets less knockdown duration. Uh, and he gets some more dexterity, which more dexterity do, 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 should help his action speed and his reflex, which is definitely one of his crappier stats and all that. And considering he, uh, uh, you know, how fast he's going to do stuff, why not? You know, it's Durant's, man. Dur Durant's gets a little bit extra bonus, a uh, little love. And this is kind of a... A uh, nice one to pick up because it's gonna increase that. I do think that um, one of the things I have to worry about with her is that if I am gonna be keeping her at range, I'm probably gonna have to get increase to her um, ability because it she gets it off of her attacks. So I need to make sure I'm able to work that in and you know other stuff to look around here. Heck, maybe you want this perception. What are you currently wearing? Immune boost. That's neat and all, but <laughs> yeah, it's perception too. It's a nice, simple save. Anyway, point is, as you can see, there's lots of cool stuff. All right, uh, and I solved that problem for her at the salty mass, so we can go back and uh, see what she has to say. You know, might as well try to do the completing a quest within the same episode. You know, a little extra stuff. I'm not necessarily starting to be like, oh, well, let's go recruit the Paladin character when more than likely she's going to be chilling at the base, just saying. Because <laughs> I am a Paladin. And, um, um, yeah. Ba -da -ba -da. Hey, alrighty. Captain, quick save. And remember, you can do things differently than I'm doing. Um, yeah, a Dodge Bring later. She agreed to leave, uh, leave you alone. Her brows, uh, riches rise. Well, that's the walk surprise, the one we're celebrating. Take some coppers and enjoy yourself. So as well as, and if you choose to have some fun here, enjoy my special discounts. Might as well have a drink or two. It seems as good as a place as any to pick up a few sordid secrets and uh, sundry diseases at that. No anger, warps are blue marking. Now, just what can I do for a comely lass like yourself? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Boop. Quest done, experience gained, and uh, yeah, was it a super? You know, it was experience. Uh, but it's a matter of like, hey, nice little quest mm -hmm. got completed, and that's nice. I, and I do actually think there's a little bit more uh, intrigue that might happen the salty mass in terms of what you were able to do uh, when it comes. To, oh, actually, you know, I remember salty mass one of the things you want to do. But I think there might even be, like, uh, you know, the uh, courtesan behind uh, locked doors or might or behind guards. There might be something else to it. Hey, you son of a gun. Why are you drinking at the brothel? Your wife's home with a hollow-born kid. Eyes of Red Rim, he stares in his filthy mug as he senses something. Uh, yeah, perhaps he had enough to drink. His eyes are filled with shame and self loathing What do you want from me? Um... I heard about uh, Darren, you okay? Third, no, not at all. I was taking the boy fishing. I just wanted to stop by on the way for a drink, a quick one. 
told him to wait for me outside. I only meant to stay a few minutes, but by the time I came out, he was gone. He stares at the mug again, takes a quick drink. I don't know what I'm going to tell Oda. Uh, well, no, that's benevolent goes to a certain point. Uh, I'm going to go look for him anyway. Turns his back and takes a long gulp. Okay. His father is a terrible human being. Alright, got it, Roger. So we'll uh, maybe see if we can get a little started on that. Uh, one of the things that's very um, interesting about uh, the gift, and I remember surprising the heck out of me when I first got here, is, hey, can I just go down in the water here? Like, seriously? Ties to the shoreline, you have to wait until daylight. Oh, really? Does it work like that? Huh. Remember, there was just another spot I could do it at, because I remember doing this. But I don't remember doing it at night, so... They, may, they might have me there. Yeah, I guess so. So you have to wait till daylight. It's kind of cool, there's a fisherman just kind of sitting there. Hey, do you need sleep? No, you're just, you're a fisherman. Hey, look, another one. Okay, so you have to kind of come here during night. Interesting. Some payday is turned into. Greetings. Old man paces the dock and looks over the water. He's fussing over something large and round, which constantly shifts from one end to another. A certain way his wide eye gave mouth expression marks surprise or fear. Uh, you, uh, don't look like a guard? Say, you wouldn't be interested with some coppers, would you? Shows you the object hands. Large, round opal, fitting in room, scarves in it, glistens with sweat. See the ship that went down over there? Where someone helped me recover some missing cargo. Hmm. You know, that doesn't sound like a dear Woodian name. It's because it isn't. From Ixamil Plains, a broad savanna north of Deerwood. It's different from the ocean, in a way. A place where you can stand and turn full circle and see nothing but the winds making waves in the grass. But moments like this, I wonder what business a plainsman like me had taking the water. Uh, anything else you need? You tell me about your name. Uh, have you seen a boy? I see him, uh... Every time near the port, he nods at the half-sunken boat. He's the one who found the opal. Good kid, despite that loafer of a father. Whoa, any idea where he could be now? The boy loves the ships. He's probably playing pirates with the sailors if he hasn't stowed away with the cargo. Loafer. Uh, drunk more than sober. He pork up it anyway. He spends the scant coin salty mask on mouth's feet. He gets a daughter and curses the family. Thanks for the info. All right. Yeah, it's not much of your stupid cargo. If you see the lad, tell him the old opal remembers the deal. Oh, I'm a basket of mussels from the opal. How about the missing cargo? Uh, sorry, cool man. Is there a loading and floating business as usual? What happened? Uh, where's where you see this rest? Rest to take on a few crates or something. Then Calvin's react. A couple last stuck a peek at the cargo. Saw suits of armor and a broken scepter. I mean, one broken anything, but his animaster is by dirty sock as he said he come from ruins. Uh, we were almost at the Defiant Spain. The screaming started. I've seen my share of barroom brawls. This sounded different. I went topside with the captain. He and the first mate went below decks to see what the commotion was about. When he come back, I looked at the hold. I saw one of the suits of armor. It's walking all by itself. It was covered in blood. When it saw me, I started running for the hatch. So I closed it. Skis his eyes. Skis his shut. So uh, how did this ship get here? Rolls the stone between his hands. Just a deck hand, but... It's the only one left. I piled the ship the best I could, but I hit the rocks through past in Brackenberry. Barely made an order to skip before I had to jump overboard and swim for the docks. I've given up with the cargo, and I mentioned payday when one of the lads pulled up this from the nets. Uh, it's part of the scepter. From what I can recall, there were three other pieces. I bet you anything that's somewhere in the shallows, too. You, if anyone find them, there'd be profit for you, too. So, have you talked to the Crucible Knights about this? I meant that I'm a smuggling relics. I doubt they arrest me. I doubt that there ain't coin from this mess. So what happens if I find this uh, mess? I, I don't meet the requirements for survival. Interesting. Uh, if I miss a piece of artifact, you got to damn answer, friend. From exhibition days, we'll find a stack of coppers. All I want is 200 uh, pawns from a lost payday. If that sounds fair to you, give me a stone of contact once you have everything else. Seems a kid dredge up stone up and then I wager you can find the missing uh, pieces on the shallows during low tide. All right. Tell me about it again. Yes. Do you have any idea where I want this relic? She was always taking these things back when we were young. You think she's a fool retiring some dusty study in Brackenberry? After the horror in the bow, I'm thinking she made a wiser choice. All right. Groovy. So, another... And that quest got added to it. That another one of finding the cargo. 
and such. You see what I'm talking about? Like, there's lots of lots of quests and lots of things to do. That's what's great about this game. It's fantastic. In fact, there's, uh, I venture to say there's a heck of a lot more to do than this. Uh, I find it interesting because I didn't realize that, uh, you, you can only go down there during certain times, uh, of the day. But, uh, in terms of, uh, when the tide comes in, I find that interesting because I didn't know that before. I like knowing things or learning things, I say. Um, all right, cool. So she's going to start talking to me and telling me some more stuff. But we'll have to save that for next episode. If you enjoy this one, please consider leaving a like. It helps out like you don't even know. I appreciate it. You can always find me on Twitter at ZL Gaming, etc. Uh, that's all together. And uh, subscribe if you're like, I want more of this guy and his stupid jokes. <laughs> and the way he's like, I like the way he mispronounces everything. This is, this is my guy. You know, that, if that's the kind of thing you're into, then you come to the right one. All right, I hope everyone has a good one, and I'll see you next episode.